Excuse me, I'm looking for a girl named Star Man. I was told she was here. And she. Oh my god. Where's Star? Where is she? Star! You can't do that! Star! Oh, please, Star! There you go, Strawberry Sunday, because I know it's your favorite star, Manning. Oh, great, Mark. Can you might as well just broadcast a show in the entire world with some things. I don't even know what's up. Nice to meet you. Whatever secret you're keeping for Star, it's not a secret anymore, now that you sent Cole for her. So you might as well tell me what's going on, because it's hard to help you when I've got no clue what's really going on. I can't tell you, but I shouldn't have even told Cole where Star was. Well, I don't know, because you won't tell me, but you probably ended up helping her. I hope so. Look, I just... I just want to know I don't have to worry about you. Why would you worry about me? Uh, because last time we tried to cover for Star, Mr. Manning wanted to kill us both. Hey, well, Doria's not gonna let anything happen to me or you. Did you say she's going out of town for a couple of days? I'll be fine. Don't worry, okay? Mr. Manning's not gonna know what happened. Just hope that bodyguard keeps reading his paper. It's a good thing he's such a sportsman. Look, I'm sorry I got you all mixed up in this, okay? So is my friend, too. Whatever she's doing, I just hope she's okay. No, I'm here! Do it now! I'm out of the Please, that is my girlfriend, all right? Can't you just go back there and tell her that I'm here? We've had people coming in here pretending to be relatives. I'm not pretending. People try and come and terrify our clients. I don't want to do that, all right? I love her. All right, why can't you guys just help me out here? I'm calling 911. No, no! It doesn't matter. No one else knows, all right? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry you had to go through this alone. See, I knew something was wrong. I wanted to tell you, Cole. I really, I really did. I just didn't want my dad to find out. Please don't hate me for not telling you. Hey, I love you. I always will. <laughs> Will you wait for me? Thank you. Hey, wait. How long have you known you've been pregnant? About a week. Well, you made that decision pretty fast. Well, this whole pregnancy thing, it goes by really fast. I've already had morning sickness, and I'm so tired all the time. I can't even see straight, and my body is changing in all these weird ways. All that already? Cool. My mom's going to be able to find out, and then she's going to tell my dad, and then my dad is going to try to kill you. My mom said that having a baby is a woman's decision. Now it's happening to you. But... Whatever you do, I want you to be sure about it. But to me, it kind of seems like maybe you're just doing this to protect me. To start, that's not a good enough reason. Then what do you want me to do? I want you to be 100% sure that this is the right thing for you. I can take care of myself. But my dad... Hey, if the kids, can we just forget about him right now? I'm trying to. You don't have to do this today, do you? It's an important decision. There's still time for you to decide if it's the right one for you. You've already made one big decision without thinking about it. Now you're paying for it. I don't want that to happen again. I love you too much for that. 
Hey, I want you to look back 20, 30 years from now and say to yourself, I did the right thing. So, hey, I'm just asking you to take a little time to think about it. Alright, and whatever you decide, I'll back you up on. Okay? He's right, sir. If you haven't thought it through, I haven't. I can't, I can't do it today. I'm not going to. Hey, uh, Sean. You went to Chester High, right? Yeah. What? Uh, did you know that, uh, you know, that local guy that the Sixers just drafted to play point guard? Oh, cool. Hey, um, so, uh, what do you think about those Nets trade rumors? That's uh, crazy, right? Thank you. I can't shout right now. I got a job to do. Girl, it's a, it's a curfew. A curfew? It's like 8 o'clock. Take it up for that. Mr. Man, speaking of that. Yeah, that's me. You still at the diner? I was just about to bring your daughter home, boss. I don't know. Keep her there. I want to surprise her. You're coming here? Yeah, I'm going to buy her an ice cream or something. I'll see you soon. You okay? thinking about what I'm going to do. What am I going to tell my parents? Nothing. Only Lisa knows, right? But she told you? I, I knew something was wrong. Right? She finally gave me the address to the clinic. Don't be mad for me. No, I'm not. I'm not mad, Cole. I'm glad that you know. I just... I don't know what comes next. I'll figure it out. Where are you? I'm driving back to start. Right, we're at the diner. Mr. Manning's on his way over here right now. And you know what will happen if he finds nice to have stars clothes and, and a bad wig. All right, all right, we'll, we'll be there as soon as I can. Don't worry. Take care. Anything else, Star? Do you want a, a booth or, or the counter? I don't know. Where's Star? She's in the bathroom.